Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Terrific Tuesday. We're right at the middle of the week. We thank God for how he's blessed us. And you know, God is just good all the time. And that's why we call it Terrific Tuesday. Please look with me and find out the terrific things that God is doing, not only in the text, but also can do in our lives today. In 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, verses 1 through 5, it is again that Paul is writing to this group of believers uh, uh, for their giving in Jerusalem. Now, these believers had been giving and their giving uh, was of such magnitude that Paul says that uh, as I'm writing and as I'm talking about you, I'm boasting to the church in Macedonia and Greece of how you send an offering um, every year to make sure that they're taken care of. But the part that I love in this text is he says that, and I know your enthusiasm and how you stirred up the Macedonian believers to begin giving. Well, you know, I think this is such a powerful text because Paul begins to talk about the giving of others who bless other believers. And because they were so moved that others gave to them and as they grew in their faith, and as they understood the power of giving, the power of sowing seeds, it was then that God had blessed them in such a way that they became enthusiastic about giving as well. You know, I think it's always amazing when we see how God uses the zeal, the encouragement, the enthusiasm from others who give towards ministry, who give to help those who are the helpless, those who are the lost and those who are the least, those who find themselves after coming off all of what we've seen in our economy, that God is making room for us to be just like this church in the text. The church and the text and the believers, they got excited about giving. They became enthusiastic about giving because they saw how it benefit those who were the recipients of their gifts. You know, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, there is no encouragement like seeing the gratitude of those who have received gifts from God that have been shared through and by the agency of human hands. I can remember seeing the faces of those that when I went on a mission trip and how I saw that they were blessed by it, I can't help but think about the giving and the gifts as how we have helped folk who found themselves needing a place to stay and we helped to build a home. It was just such a powerful experience. And then doing the house dedication to see how much gratitude those those faces showed because somebody gave to them and in turn they help others to build their houses. I think it's something contagious about giving and others who become the beneficiaries of those gifts. They can't help but pass it forward. You know, we, we live in a society that we must remind ourselves the importance of passing it forward and giving forward. As you and I have been so blessed, as you and I have found ourselves being the recipients of good parents, of a good community, of of good education, of good schools, of good jobs, we can't help but pass it on to the generations that are to come. These believers, they made sure those who were fellowshipping and worshiping together knew that others loved and cared about them that they didn't even know. That is so powerful. That's a great context. That's a great concept. That's a great movement that you and I can do in our contemporary society. It's amazing that when we share God's love, people who are the recipients of God's love and whatever way we share it, you can find out that they fully embrace it and they pass it on to someone else. It becomes so important in our contemporary society that we pass on what God has given to us to other people. Let's pay it forward. Let's let other people know just as we have received. Also, we want to give. It is amazing that when we receive blessings from God, we pass them on to others. They not only multiply in our lives, but we share them with others because the Bible tells us that the Lord will bless you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. And you will have so much more that you. You have more than enough that you'll be able to share with others. Let's open up our arms. Let's open up our hearts. Let's open up our hands and our mouths and our eyes and share with others the good news of the love of God, that they too might be the recipients like the ones in the text, how God had moved on the lives of believers and they touched other people that they didn't even know and they just kept passing it on. Let's duplicate. Let's do what they've done. Let's do it in our world today and let's do it now. I challenge you. I challenge myself. Let's do what God has done in the text in the lives of those that we come in contact with. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. I'll see you tomorrow. 
to sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. Visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you.